Okay, so the first problem that you might run into if you have no sound is that your sound is actually not going into your sequence. So if I try to drag this over here right now, you can see that only the video came in. And that would be the same thing if I tried to drag from here, only the video. Well, that's because I don't have this thing, A1 right here, clicked. So make sure you have V1 and A1, and then when you drag it in, both the video and audio will come in. But now when you play it, and this is probably the issue that you have, you can see that you know the audio levels are going here, but I can't hear anything. The clip is silent. Another issue that you might run into when bringing your clips in is having no waveforms. So this one just has a flat line, no waveforms. When I push play though, you can see that the audio meters are going the same way they were before, but no audio is playing. To fix that one, you just right click and unlink if it's video and audio, then click on your audio side, right click, and go up to render and replace. Now that should bring back your waveforms and it might actually fix your audio as well. In this case, it didn't. So I'm gonna show you two quick workspace fixes that you can try first. One is actually to solo, like click right here, solo the track that your audio is on, play it for a little bit, then stop, unsolo it, and then play it back. Sometimes that can fix it. The second super quick workspace fix that might work for you is to just find your sequence over here in your project files, right click, copy it, and then right click and paste it back in as a new one, and then essentially delete the old one. So I'm just gonna delete that. You'll see it disappeared from over here. Then just double click on that sequence to open it back up over here, push play and see if that worked. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Which brings us to our two main fixes. So these are kind of the two go-tos. The first one is just to go up to edit or on a Mac, it's like your Premiere Pro CC or whatever thing and then go down to preferences and over to audio hardware. So in here, it's probably not gonna be a default input problem because that's for your microphone, like how you get sound into Premiere, but you can try and click on that and change something. It's probably not gonna matter. The one you're looking for is default output. And right now I have it on speakers, Elgato sound capture, and there's no sound coming out of that. So I'm gonna click on this and you might pick your headphones, you can pick your monitor, whatever it is. I'm just gonna pick my speakers, high definition audio device and click it. You're gonna get this menu and it just means, do you really wanna to switch to that audio thing? I'm gonna say yes. And then it should change your master clock to match automatically. If it doesn't, you can try and click that to change it as well. And then down here, something else that might be an issue as well is your map output four. So depending on what devices you have, like I don't have anything in here, you might have to switch this up as well. So I'm gonna keep mine at Adobe Desktop Audio so you can try and switch back to that maybe. And then you also have to go over to Playback and pick this as audio device, Adobe Desktop Audio as well. So you might have to switch that in there to match. Then I'm gonna go back to Audio Hardware and click OK. And then we'll check again to see if that fixed it. Look, at man, this thing used to say cold chilling. Now I say old chili. <laughs> And as you can hear, that obviously fixed my problem, but if it didn't fix yours, then here's one more thing that you can try. Go up to Edit again, or to Adobe Premiere Pro CC if you're on a Mac, go down to Preferences, and this time go up to Media Cache. So the first thing you really wanna do is remove your Media Cache files right here, so click Delete. If you're in an older version, it would have said Delete Unused, which is this one right here. In the newer one, this menu comes up with Delete All Media Cache Files, grayed out, we're gonna come back to that later. For now, just click OK. Then just wait until Premiere clears out your cache files. At this point, if you're using a newer version of Premiere, then you have a choice to make. Either keep watching to see how to clear all the cache files, not just the unused ones, manually, or you can skip ahead to the time I have listed on the screen to see how to do it the new, updated, easier way. If you're using an older version of Premiere, however, then just keep watching, because this is how you do it. Once it's done, I'd also suggest doing a manual cleanup as well. So if you go down to your Media Explorer, go into Local Disk, Users, find your user one, so Delinsky for me, down to App Data, and then into Roaming. In this folder, you might see a bunch of things here, but obviously we're gonna go into Adobe, and then this depends on how many Adobe things you have, like I have Animate, After Effects, whatever. The folder we're looking for though is just Common right here. So I can double click 
and in peak files right here, this is where all of those media cache files were stored. So you can go about this one of two ways. I'm gonna go back to my Adobe folder. You can rename this common folder. So if I right click, rename it, some people say just to name it common old, but you might get this message. So the action can't be completed because the folder or a file in it is open in another program. So, you know, try again, I'm gonna go cancel right now. It just means I have to close down Premiere. Okay, so now if I try to rename it, I can go in and old, then just go up and make a new folder and call it common again. Now when you open Premiere back up, it's gonna generate all those new ones into this folder. But you can also just delete, I'm just gonna delete that one and then rename this one back to just common. And I'm just gonna go into those peak files and just delete the folders that are in here. So I'm gonna highlight them and just delete and they are gone. So you'll see if I open up an older project that I've now deleted the files from, you're gonna see that down here, it's gonna to have to regenerate all the peak files for that project. And if I go back into here, you can see now the folder has been added for that project and these are all the new peak files that are being created or recreated for that old project. And they'll just keep adding into there. So you don't have to worry about deleting things out of here because as soon as you open up that project again, Premiere is gonna automatically generate those peak files again. It's just gonna take some time. Now the updated or new way to do this is to go back into your media cache and click on that delete button again. This time it's, you know, it's still grayed out here. So to access this, we actually have to cancel, cancel, and then close our project here. So I'm gonna close it. And then before you open up a new project, just go up to edit preferences and media cache this time without any project being open, go back to delete. And now you'll see that we can delete all media cache files from the system. Click OK. And you're going to see over here that these ones should vanish. Boom, they're gone. Because that does the exact same thing as you used to have to do manually. And then once again, once you've done all of that, just open up your project again. And you can see a new folder was added right in here once again into my peak files. This one only had one clip. There it is. And hopefully if I go back here, that should fix your audio problem. <laughs> and that's it. Hopefully one of these has solved your no audio issue. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.